everyone, welcome back to Life with Crumbs, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Tanya, thank you for stopping by. Today's video, I am sharing with you a Target Christmas decor haul. All of this came from the Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye's Playground, however you wanna think of it, except for one item. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that item first. It is my biggest item and my most expensive item, and that is this little sign, or big is bigger sign. Um, it says, Dealing in Holiday Cheer Since 1948, North Pole Trading Company. It's got this little wood frame on it. And there is a jute twine hanger. So this would be really cute just as a sign hanging up or mixed in with some other decor. So come back and check out my Christmas home tour when that posts and you'll be able to see where I end up using this item. Um, like I said, this is my biggest item and my most expensive item. This I signed was $10 and I found it back in the Wonder Shop with the rest of the Christmas decor. Okay, so like I said, everything else that I'm going to show you came from the Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye's Playground. First up are these two sets of houses. Um, they are little wooden houses. Um, this one is just all in the same sort of wood tone um, color. They're all the same. It is a pack of four and they were five dollars and then this set is different little different colors again same shape and everything also five dollars I do have um, a DIY in mind for I'm not sure which set yet but for at least a couple of them so stay tuned for that um, and the rest of them, I thought these would be really great just on a shelf or in a tiered tray or something like that. So, um, yeah, I haven't quite decided for sure what I'm going to do with them, but I do have some ideas. I found these really adorable wreaths um, also in the dollar spot. Like I said, everything came from the dollar spot. Um, it was $3. It's just a really simplistic kind of little wreath, but it did have the little gingham or buffalo check ribbon on the top. And I've decided this year that that is the theme that we're gonna do in the kitchen this year. I don't normally decorate my kitchen, but I decided what the heck, we're gonna do some decorating out there a little bit more than I have in the past anyway. So these are gonna go on some of my cabinet doors. So I did pick up um, multiples of this. Next up, I found these adorable little glass trees. They were a dollar each. Um, they are quite a they are different from each other so there is this one and then this one is a little bit shorter and has a little bit more detailing to it so I thought these would be really cute in a tiered tray or just mixed in with some other decor next up I grabbed a couple of picks from the dollar spot um, they are just really well done. I feel like they're just really, they're really simple and pretty, um, but the snow on them looks well done, and I thought I could add some other picks to them and um, use them in a little display. So like I said, I just picked up two of them, mainly because there were only two. I like it because whatever the snow effect is on them, it's not loose or falling off everywhere. So yeah. I just I thought they were really well done and for three dollars I thought it was totally worth it something that I can continue to use over and over again bottle brush trees are all the rage everybody is using them for decor I had to pick up these three gold trees I have a DIY in mind for these so stay tuned for that hopefully I can get that filmed and up soon and I just thought these were really well done really pretty nice little gold glitter it doesn't seem to have a lot of fallout on them and they were three dollars each the next item I found was this adorable little sled I thought it was really really cute it has a little chalkboard front so if you wanted to write a message on it or if you have like a Cricut or a silhouette machine and you wanted to print out a vinyl decal or some wording you could do that um, it does have a little hanger if you wanted to hang it up could definitely set it on a shelf or lean it on a shelf and it would be a cute little addition to any decor and this was three dollars I thought that was a pretty reasonable price for something like this and it had to come home with me the 
this next item was really intriguing to me. I was really drawn to it. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it is this little window panel, a window pane, and it appears as though it has snow, little snowflakes on the edge of the glass there. Sorry for the glare. But I thought it was just really cute. Like I said, it was really interesting to me. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet, um, but I will figure out something. And if I decide that I don't like the little um, pl plastic piece in there, there are screws on the back, and I could actually take the window pane out and then just use the wooden structure part of the window as well as the little design there. So that's always an option. Next up are these little ceramic houses. They're just little white houses and they have the little LED light inside of them. Again, I do have a DIY in mind. Hopefully I get around to getting that done. Here's the other set, a little bit different. Again with the LED light. These are great for a variety of different decor and something that you can use year round. So that's another reason why I love them so much. I only picked up one ornament from Target this time, and it is just this little sign. It says Mary. It's got a couple of little beads here at the top, and then this little tassel at the bottom. Looks like it needs a little bit of TLC, but I think we can make it work. And this is gonna be part of a DIY that I have in mind. Last up is this little tree. I actually picked up two of them. Um, I'm going to place them on each side of my sink, so I have a little bit of extra decor out there. I feel like these are a really good size. They're not going to take up too much room and just add a little extra something out there in my kitchen. They do have a navy blue and um, green little um, bag here wrapped at the bottom, and I think I'm going to take that off because there is a little cement piece in here, and um, maybe redo it in the black and white checkered um, print to kind of match better with the kitchen decor that I'm gonna have out there. Okay, you guys, that wraps up my Bullseye's Playground, Target Dollar Spot, whatever you wanna call it, haul. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.